What is going on, guys? My name is Tubby Welcome back to John Cena's WrestleMania. It's a co-op with Triple H. We got a phone call. Let's see who's giving us a ring. You ducked me last week to play with ECW, Cena. I don't like waiting. But tonight, I'll get my hands on you, and there's no disqualification. I'm going to make sure the wait was worth it. <laughs> so, Kane basically telling us we went over to ECW. The dirt sheet called us out. The Miz and Morrison, myself and Triple H, went over to beat some ass. And we did. I don't know what I did to tick Kane off. Uh-oh. I'm really not a guy to reason with. Maybe if I put him through a table right away, I'll knock some sense into him. Alright, so we have to put him through a table. How fast do I have to put him through a table as we leave the locker room? So within 2 minutes and 30 seconds, put Kane through the announcer table. As uh, it's optional though, so we don't have to do it. I'm wondering what we unlock. As Kane makes his way out, guys. Uh, Triple H's, if you guys have played this one before, the co-op version... Is it quite the crossover? Because we we have the other saves to do the John Cena and Triple H split them up, but do they do they coincide a little bit uh, more than I think, or do they uh, keep separated pretty well? Let me know in the comment section below if you guys have played them or if you remember, because I'm sure a lot of us have probably played these games, but remembering is a completely different thing. As John Cena, he's already going after the announce table. He's not wasting any time. As Kane's trying to get his hands on us. Okay, and you can't put us through the table. I got to grab you here. Now, I, how am I going to do it? Should I build up a finisher really fast as uh, Kane? Looking to pummel me into the announce stairs. Did I just call him the announce stairs? I called him the announce stairs. <laughs> into the stairs next to the announce table. Kane is just going into me right now. John Cena laying out. He's just down and out, dude. Kane, I need I need to put you through this uh, announce table. So if you could get up really fast, we got a minute thirty left to go. I want this optional goal. No, I threw you the wrong way. I'm gonna salute you because I need you to come running right towards me. Hey, come here. Oh no, he took him off of the announce table. Holy crap! Kane, come here. Kane, come here. There we go. I need to put him through this announce table. John Cena. Oh, no. No, no, no. What do I have to do to put him through the table? I don't have a finisher or anything. What is this strong? Can I do a strong grapple through the table? Come on, Cena. Off of the announce table. We're doing everything right next to the announce table, but we need... All right, Cena, go up top. Cena! Wait, who's here? Oh, The Miz. Oh, no, it's Jericho. What does Jericho want? At Royal Rumble, I'll regain my championship and get one step closer to being crowned champion of champions. Wait, what's going on? I can't see anything. So it's clearly my destiny. Where is everything? I think I'll just smack you around right now. What happened? Our, our camera angle is gone. Oh, we're back. All right, so we're back now as uh, John Cena is doing his thing. He's uh, going after Kane, but we got to worry about Chris Jericho too because Chris Jericho basically said that he's coming down. It's no disqualification. He's not going to wait. He's going to get our hands on us now. Come on, Kane. Get in the ring. Kane with a chair shot. Is that enough to put away Kane? Oh, no. Chris Jericho's finally in the ring. So we didn't hit the optional goal, which sucks. But we're going to backdrop him. Oh, no. We're going to atomic buster him. Up, Kane. We got to do this before uh, Chris Jericho. Oh, wow. We missed completely. Why can't I target Chris Jericho? What the hell is going on? Why can't I target Chris Jericho? So Chris Jericho can come out and uh, attack me. But I can't attack Chris Jericho. Okay. John Cena going off the ropes looking for a five-knuckle shuffle. It's Chris Jericho's right there. I should be able to target Chris Jericho. What? Why can't I target Chris Jericho? I'm hitting the targeting button. 
I'm trying to switch, and <laughs> I can't do anything. So we're going to lose our finisher now as he's trying to go after him. Now, look, it won't even let me target him uh, right there when he attacks me. If, if I can't attack Chris Jericho when he puts uh, the screws to me, I can still go after Kane. Yeah, it, <laughs> what are you doing? Why? Why? Why can I not target Chris Jericho? Okay, I'm just going to like put the controller down and let Chris Jericho beat me up because apparently I can't do anything about it. It's a two-on-one beatdown at this point. Look at these guys just beating the crap out of me. Not much I can do, and it, like I said, if I can't attack Chris Jericho, it's kind of pointless. Yeah, you better walk away when I got a weapon. Notice how he uh, stays away when I actually have a weapon. Finally! I'm able to nail Chris Jericho with a chair. Maybe that buys me enough time. Running after Kane. Kicking out the leg of Kane. Let's go for a pin. Let's try to win it as fast as possible without Chris Jericho even doing anything. Now, Chris Jericho is just going to watch. And now he's going after me. Notice how when the weapon's out of my hand, he's more uh, likely to attack. As Kane sends us into that barricade on the outside. Just sends us flying. I feel like I should lose in a... I, I don't think Super Cena should win this match. Especially with the help of everybody as he's putting us back into those steel steps. But I also want to overcome everything. I want to be able to do everything. I want to be able to, to prove as champion, uh, especially with this whole Raw versus SmackDown thing, that I am the guy. So it would make sense that I could overcome this as... No, no, no. No, just leave me alone, Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho's got a... Wait, he's got the steel steps, but I got a 2 by 4 Come on, get in the ring. Both the guys just sitting on the outside now. Why are you not getting in the... No. Come on, get in the ring, dude. Let me use this 2x4. John Cena. I'm gonna nail Kane with a 2x4. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Kane. Alright, he's got a finisher. We gotta be careful. We're gonna try to beat him down on the outside. Uh, well, Chris Jericho's on the outside. Excuse me. Come on, Cena. The referee's only watching Chris Jericho. It seems like Chris Jericho finally went back to the outside. And I'm pretty sure we're going to stop Kane from using uh, his finisher. I think we shut him down just enough. All right, get up top. John Cena up top. As Kane tries to get back to his feet. John Cena from the top rope. Double axe handle. Is that enough to put away Kane? One. Two. And no, Kane's able to kick out. All right, Kane. I think I need to hit you with another five-knuckle shuffle, but this time since uh, Chris Jericho's on the outside. There we go. Watch me, Chris Jericho, right in your face. As Chris is looking for a weapon. Oh, I thought he was going to try to grab me. He had to drop the chair because I was going for the five-knuckle shuffle. I think he it scared him. All right, pick him up. STF. Attitude adjustment, middle of the ring. Down he goes. John Cena's wary, but I don't think it matters. One, two, three, and he's able to do it. So John Cena is victorious, even with the, the attempted beatdown from Chris Jericho. You can't stop John it. John Cena was a near miracle. I don't know where he finds the strength to win against such overwhelming odds. That's why he's the world heavyweight champion, Michael. We'll see if he can retain his title this weekend at the Royal Rumble. Good night, everybody. Now, who are we defending against? Because in that battle royale, it was actually awesome that we tried to uh, eliminate Batista three times uh, with the attitude adjustment, and he reversed every single time. We got eliminated by both him and Mark Henry, and then we would find out that Mark Henry would win the match in kind of a, a weird scenario. All right, so we didn't get the result. That's fine. Cena's backstage. Look at that cutscene. Talking to the trainer and the referee. thought we were going to Raw. Greetings from Albuquerque, home of the final SmackDown before the Royal Rumble. Well, there's a locker room full of superstars who all want to win the Royal Rumble match, but only one guy will get the title opportunity against Triple H at the Rumble. The top three contenders all have a crack at Triple H tonight. 
with a lot at stake. All right, so apparently, even though we picked John Cena, we also have to pit play uh, Triple H's uh, version. So I think we're just gonna like call it a, a complete series. Who's the voicemail from? Triple H, your match is a little different tonight. You have to take on MVP, Jeff Hardy, and Undertaker in a three-on-one handicap match. If one of them wins, they automatically face you for the WWE Championship at the Royal Rumble. If you win, you'll select your opponent. Have fun. All right, so I'm not going to lie. I, I think I kind of want to cheat this here because I think I have a game plan. All right, here's here's my game plan and thought going into this. I want to save my strength. It's a three-on-one handicap match. If we're two or three days away from the pay-per-view, why would I expend all this energy? A huge mental advantage at the Royal Rumble. It's time to prove why I'm called the Cerebral Assassin. Yeah, I, I know it'll give me a huge mental advantage, but here's the thing about the mental advantage. If I've already beat MVP, and I know I could destroy MVP, it's an optional goal. If you win, you'll be able to pick your Royal Rumble challenger. I think that if I lay down for the guy that I think is most least likely to beat me, it would make more sense to do that. So, like, right at the match, like, because then you'd have Undertaker pissed off. You would have Jeff Hardy pissed off. MVP would be like, what is going on? I think we're going to try to lay down for MVP. Now, don't quote me on that because I may change my mind. But I'm seriously thinking about right now laying down for MVP because I don't want to face Taker at the Rumble. I mean, I, I would want to if I was uh, oh, all three guys at the same time. Nope. Nope. I'm going to tell all three of them to suck it. Can I just use a weapon and get disqualified? It's over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> it's a DQ. <laughs> what is going on? I didn't want to do that. I didn't think it'd be a DQ. Triple H is pissed. No. <laughs> what just happened? Do we face Jeff Hardy now? No, no, go back. I, I thought it would give me the option to restart the match. No, no. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at the Royal Rumble. I'm Jim Ross, a long way from Oklahoma, along with Taz, and we're in beautiful Calgary, Alberta, Canada for one of WWE's flagship events. I'm telling you, JR, tonight is gonna be some night. Both Triple H and John Cena will put their championships on the line. Then, of course, is the uh, a little thing called the Royal Rumble match itself. Big time. Don't forget the ramifications of those title matches. We're edging closer to WrestleMania, where both brands' champions will compete to become Champion of Champions. Now, I wonder if one guy will drop a title um, to essentially go on to win the Royal Rumble. I, I wonder if that is an option. Is we're gonna save separately just so because I feel like I want to actually pick my uh, competitor because I don't know who I'm facing right now. <laughs> 